Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And today I'm doing a sort of a patron request video. <laughs> One of my patrons sent me a, a message on the Patreon website and said, I'm having a problem uh, with my laser. I upgraded my light burn and all of a sudden now it's not framing anymore. <laughs> And I said, well, that's really not likely, but um, let me log into your computer and take a look and figure out what's going on. And I figured it out in about five seconds flat uh, based on the information that he gave me. So he had, uh, he was making a file, a little graphic for a wallet that he was uh, wanted to burn on a wallet. And he got the graphic off the internet, copied it, pasted it, traced it, and then did a little bit, ungrouped it and did a little bit of editing to it. And then the file was ready to burn. So he put the wallet on the laser and he was in a current position. So he moved the laser head by hand to the top corner and he framed it. And well, it framed, now the graphic was maybe an inch tall and it framed like 10 inches wide. And he said, I just can't figure out what's going on. And I sort of had it in my head that I had an idea of what he did wrong. But rather than explain it to you, I'm going to show it to you. So I'm going to switch over to Lightburn and show you exactly what happened. And this happens to be a pretty common problem that I've never seen anyone discuss before. So now I don't have his file, obviously. Uh, so I've created uh, an example of his file. Let's say this is the graphic that he had just traced and edited and now he's ready to frame. Well, what was happening was it was framing like this. All the way out like that. I already knew what the problem was and now I'm going to show you what the problem was. Let me turn on the laser. And we'll give that a chance to home real quick. So now here is our graphic and we want to frame it, right? So I'm going to hit the frame button. Let me switch to the laser and here we go. Oh, look at that. That is definitely not a one inch square. Okay. Now here is the problem. When he downloaded that graphic, and he traced it and then did some editing to it. He ungrouped it and edited it. There was an anomaly that was left behind that he didn't delete. So the way to find out whether or not you've gotten all of the anomalies from the trace off of your workspace here is to press the control button and the letter A. And you see what that is right there? there is something else in this square over here and I'll show you what that is it is right here see that there is a little tiny anomaly well in this case it's a little tiny square but there's a little tiny anomaly that was left from the trace but when you're in full view you can't see that so uh, it's completely gone. It could be a little, you know, a little dot, a little line. It could be anything at all. So the thing to do is press control on the letter A. Now you know how wide it is. So you, something on this corner, you know, is wrong. So all you have to do is drag over this corner and there it is and hit the delete key. And now if we go to frame, you see that it frames exactly where it's supposed to be. So in a nutshell, that's the entire problem that he was having, was having that one little anomaly from his trace that was left on the work bed and he wasn't able to frame it. And I've had lots of people, you know, message me with questions about this type of a problem before. And I've never really seen anyone do a video on it. So I thought today would be, uh, it would be a good idea to make a video of this problem that my patron had. So 
you know I'm not famous for short videos but you got one today <laughs> and hopefully this will help you out in the future with other problems you might have I very regularly hit that control A that means select all I do that regularly on a lot of my projects to see if there are any anomalies left over because I do a lot of a lot of tracing and I do a lot of uh, node editing and I do a lot of editing of uh, old files that I've got and things like that where I ungroup them and little pieces might get left behind so I do that quite regularly and it's just a, this is just a quick video today to uh, show you if you run into this problem where your project is not framing properly you might want to hit that control a button and take a look at what else might be on your work bed that is causing that problem with the framing so uh, i hope you enjoyed this quick video today as much as i enjoyed making it for you and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one shining bright laser light in the bayou tonight rich the louisiana hobby guy he's ready for his flight with his engraver in hand he's got ideas in his sight carving dreams and making art he's gonna do it right